Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Blackwell here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Fallout 76 Twitch Prime bundle, which is available through the winter months. Now this is available until April 9th, so if you link your Twitch and Bethesda accounts together, you can get some in-game rewards if you've got Twitch Prime. For more details, head to fallout.com, but let's take a look at what we get in this little bundle, including a cool Fire Axe skin and some new cherry gear. Fallout 76 has linked up with Twitch Prime again for a second bundle. In this bundle, you get a Raider Browning Iron Weapon skin for the Fire Axe, you get some Nuka Cherry Armor paint for the Combat Armor, Leather Armor, and Metal Armor, and you get yourself a Tree Pose for Photo Mode. Now, do bear in mind that you do need to link your Twitch Prime with your Bethesda account for this gear to be claimed. Um, your Prime loot will be waiting for you the next time you log in. However, do bear in mind if you've got an old connection that is still active, you'll need to disconnect that for any new uh, connections to be formed so if you have made this connection already on console maybe last year or the year before or whatnot you'll have to disconnect that before you set up a new connection on pc for example so first of all let's take a look we've come down to the uh, the white springs we are at the soda fountain so let's take a look at the cherry combat armor now as you can see I, the only thing that this character is wearing is the combat armor so you get a good idea of what it looks like comes with a couple of little pockets underneath the chest piece uh, let's uh, scroll around to the back let's have a look at the back side as you can see it's, it's very similar design to maybe like a coca-cola kind of brand um, there's a leg panel there the other leg is identical obviously it's mirrored because it's left and right side and then because we're in this sort of weird tree pose which obviously comes with the bundle uh, we don't get a good look at the uh, the arm pieces, but as you can see them there, that's what the uh, the cherry armor looks like. Moving on to the leather pieces, again exactly the same situation. The character is only wearing the uh, the leather armor that you get with the uh, the cherry skin on it. So let's take a look. So the legs are see they seem to be more defined. I like the legs on these. Um, obviously, the leather armor is not the greatest and most people are going to have outfits on over the top but if this breaks from your sort of norm if you if you want to put on the armor and go out there looking like that then you can obviously uh, remove your outfit and so on look at the arm pieces as well so the right hand comes with a, a sort of wrist binding as well obviously the other arm has the pit boy on it uh, the chest piece is just mainly straps across a nice little bit of bullet belt in there with uh, a little pouch on the hip it's, That looks pretty good, but again, you know if you're gonna mainly play in third person This will be the view you have and if you're gonna play in first person You're gonna pretty much have this view anyway, so you're not gonna see the uh, the outfit But if you've got twitch prime and you want to bundle them together um, And get some free gear out of it, then you know, it's a thumbs up from me and finally, in terms of armor, this is the metal skin for the Nuka Cherry. Um, it's quite a nice skin, this one. Again, it's got an arm piece on the opposing side to the Pip-Boy. The chest piece looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. That looks nice. Um, it's got some good ballistic resistances metal armor, so it's quite good. Uh, the combat armor, which we showed you the first one, uh, is the most balanced. And if you get Brotherhood of Steel mods on that, that's pretty good as well. So the arm pieces tend to be just elbow pads. And then the uh, the forearm pad, obviously, you can't put that on the uh, the pit boy itself. And then moving down to the legs, you've got some knee pads and shin pads as well, with uh, stars and uh, swooshes on it, I guess. Looking at the back, a couple of straps, and then the back of the chest piece is pretty nondescript, really. It's got a very Coca-Cola style swoosh through it as well. Um, they're okay, as I say, they're. They're free for people with Twitch Prime and Fallout 76, so help yourself to those. And with the metal armor, you do get a metal helmet as well. The color scheme's pretty nice. It's a nice neutral color scheme. It's not a seasonal looking helmet, so it's not Halloween or snowflakes or, or whatever vault -Tec skin. It's not specific, so you can use it on any kind of build. If you're a raider, then you could probably wear this helmet. Or if you're a settler, then you could probably wear this helmet as well. There's no specific, oh, that doesn't really suit my character kind of build. Um, it is nice. It doesn't offer any resistances, no damage or energy resistances. It's a cool, cool little helmet, if I'm honest. I'm going to probably use it on one of my builds. But yeah, that's the helmet. It doesn't offer any protection. It's simply aesthetic. There it is. And moving on to the weaponry, we've got the Raider Branding Iron here. Now, it does 
not changed the name of it in the inventory on your pit boy as well so it still says fire axe but there is an atomic skin on that now um here's a closer look at it so it's obviously got the raiders um insignia on the end as a brand um it's a strange choice really using a fire axe i would have thought it would have gone for the jabbing motion of a spear or a pickaxe uh, not a pickaxe sorry a pitchfork but it's gone for the fire axe so there's a swing um mechanic with that um there it is in action well there it is in game shall i say and then switching to it in our hands in third person so you swing with it you don't jab with it it's just a swing action uh, moving over to first person it is just a swing maneuver um there it is idle and i'll be honest there is some nice embers coming from it you know there are embers just sort of coming off it um, it's a nice little bit of visual on top of that but again I, i'm not sure why they didn't go with the pitchfork or the spear um, it doesn't improve the weapon in any way it's just a visual change um, morning. Uh, yeah so it's it's pretty cool it's a unique item in comparison you know comparable to other items in the game uh, it is just a fire axe so you can use it at low levels um, yeah it's not bad it's not bad at all It is what it is, you know. Take a look at it in the pit boy. Yeah, it's just called a fire axe. You can rename it if you wanted to. So there you go. There's a good look at the fire axe. Obviously, this is a level five. I just made up a, a low level one because why not? And as you may have already seen already, this is the tree pose you get as well. So you can use this in photo mode and um, well, there you go. That's pretty much it. A bit of a yoga pose. And that's available in the bundle as well. So there you are. There's your Twitch Prime bundle number two. Um, I, might, I believe there's a bundle three coming with Wastelanders or a little bit after Wastelanders. We'll, we'll see what happens with that one. I'll try my best to get access to it, but we'll see. Um, so it runs until April 9th. There's a branding iron. There's cherry armor for the combat armor, leather armor, and metal armor. And you get yourself this little tree photo pose as well. So there you have it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little video there. Um, and I'll catch you in Appalachia on the next video. Take care of yourself. Peace and love to you and yours. And I'll see you soon.